Hurricane Harvey roared towards the Texas coast in 2017, found Houston, and simply stopped there. For more than two days, the storm dumped unprecedented amounts of rain on the metro area. I was shocked at what I was seeing on the radar. I, I could not believe that the, the rain bands just kept moving in and kept landing on exactly the same areas. We are live in a Black Hawk helicopter over Texas. I spent the next few days in a helicopter as first responders rescued soaked grandmothers and grandfathers from their rooftops right outside town. This is the story of how the fourth most populated city in the country dried out and improved the massive flood control system that would help prevent another Harvey. This is how Houston is fighting the flood. This is Houston today. Well, we're walking along the banks of Bray's Bayou in, uh, in Houston in Harris County, Texas. Matt Zeev from the Flood Control District in Houston's Harris County walked us down a bayou, one of those winding, slow-moving waterways in this flat city. Houston's government is using what nature put here and enhancing it. This particular segment of the project's been going on since last summer, last August. The county is now widening and upgrading these 20 miles of bayous and adding concrete sides, and in some cases, large walls. We have completed work both directions, but the most of it's this way, and it's very dramatic. You can easily see all the work we've done, the retaining walls. There are hundreds of proposals on 22 different watersheds. Rice University environmental engineer, Dr. Phil Bedian, tells us U.S. cities like Houston need a larger solution, widening waterways, digging holes to store the water, and buying dangerous flood-prone areas where homes once stood. The floods seem to be getting bigger and more frequent. Some problems can't be fixed at all. There's just millions more people here now that are affected by it. The building is fast and furious. Houston's very growth has put more people at risk. Millions of people in a very large area, that's right. About 2.3 million people live in the city of Houston today. But back when they first upgraded the concrete back in the 1960s, the population was less than a million. And it does not take a hurricane to flood this area. These floods have a devastating and long-lasting effect, like right over my shoulder. Just a few hours ago, crews started demolishing this abandoned house in Spring, Texas. The flood here happened in 2016. This was the result of a heavy rainfall north of town. Drive around today, and this neighborhood is still recovering, more than two years on. The past few years, we've just been hit with some really, really devastating floods back to back to back. These multi-million dollar flood upgrades are sometimes paid by local taxes. Other times they split the cost with the federal government. They are also redrawing the flood maps for everyone who lives here. If they're currently not in a flood zone, but our new mapping shows that they are in a flood zone, then their premiums may go up. Meaning higher flood insurance rates for thousands in Harris County, Texas. When the next storm comes, and it will, raindrops will fall on a new Houston, a more high-tech place, where in some cases, internet-connected flood detection systems will trigger everyone's phone. So now the road network is completely contained in a computer model. The pilot program instantly shows flooded out roads, helping Houstonians get to safety faster. And so all we're doing is we're using the power of Google Maps combined with the power of our flood warning system and we've married the two together.